How long have you been preaching, Dad? I have been preaching for over 30 years. So the sermon is the highlight of the entire service. Well, what do you put in the message? I put, I put all I can into the message. I spend time preparing the message. I think that you should not come before the Lord's people unprepared. I feel that you should spend time with the Lord and obviously what he has for his people. And then as you spend time with the Lord, he'll give you what for the people because he knows better than, than, than you know. And any preacher that don't put enough time into his message, it shows the lack of preparation. If you don't prepare yourself to serve the Lord's people, you will fail. And it takes time to seek the Lord and prepare a message that he will uh, anoint you, that he come for his people and provide what's needed for them. These elements go into a sermon, the introduction, the body, and the conclusion. Without these elements, the sermon is not effective. And you have the intergenetical matter, your exegetical matter, but the main thing is the introduction, the body, and the conclusion. When you introduce the sermon, there must be a reason for writing the sermon. There must be a reason for preparing the sermon. And you must also learn the text. Uh, to study the text, what were, who the text was right, written to, the time, the date, the custom, uh, the people that, that it was written to. And why were, the, why were the text written? If you put these elements into a sermon, you have a, a successful sermon. The body is also important. That's the meat of the sermon. It tells what the sermon is all about. And the conclusion. And you must conclude the sermon to see how effective you have been in delivering the message that the Lord has given you.